Oh, hi there. Hey, I was feeling a little uh, antsy at home and felt I needed to get out and do a little practice at the dojo. So uh, I did some karate and I decided to do something I know. And I thought I'd film a little segment for you to uh, inspire you and remind you about getting your own Iaido practice at home, even with this situation going on. All right, let's get started. Sword in front and bow. And let's get ready. I hope you're doing well. I miss seeing my sword crew on Saturday mornings. And uh, the dojo is very quiet here. This is a Saturday morning, but usually it's got a lot of action going on, but today, nothing. So anyway, I hope you're staying strong mentally and physically, taking care of yourself, and uh, uh, make sure you set aside some time for some fun and some practice. All right, um, first thing, let's make sure we uh, get a good drawing motion with the sword. So when you're starting, hands down, bring them up, let your right hand grab the sword, come over the top and start to break open the sword with your left, draw forward, clearing the scabbard and get that full cut. Remember to pull your sia back and make sure the opening of the sia is horizontal right there. All right, let's do that again. Practice your draw a few times, hands up, grip, Get your thumb to push and draw the sword out forward, starting to turn it and clear and cut. Good, do that a few times on your own. Drawing and cutting, up, catch and cut. Getting that full extension out and then put the sword away. Hands up, catch, Break open, start to turn it, pushing the sword forward, clear the side back, and then come across with your cut. All right. After you practice your draws a few times and your initial cut, then it's time for the kiriroshi, the downward cut. So from your sword in the out position, jodan, and get your downward cut. Up and cut. This will be interesting to see it on the video, see how well my cut is going. Remember to extend it at the top. Try not to bounce it back before your cut. Straight down and through. Good, do a few more. And remember to twist those hands over the top of the sword so you get that full strength at the end of the, of the stroke, pushing down with the left hand to avoid the sword from bouncing. Push down that left hand to act as a break at the end of your cut. All right, those Kira Roche cuts are very important. Now let's practice that noto. Take your saya, turn it horizontal, and bring your sword up. Place the back of the blade against the web of your, between your thumb and your first finger. Draw it across and bring the saya back at the same time, coming back to the front and together, and then get your thumb over the suba to hold it in. All right, take your sword out. Bring the saya up to the center. Place, draw across, and in. Do that a few more times. Place in and noto. Try to avoid the clicking sounds or any scraping sounds so that your sword is going in very smoothly and on the same line as the scabbard. If your sword, if your saya is flat and your sword is horizontal, it's not gonna go in very well. Push down so that they match each other on the line. If you are a more advanced student and you want to practice the uh, Noto from the Hasegawa series, place the sword about halfway onto your hand. So you're halfway up the sword and now it's a shorter Noto to go in. A little harder to control, but still a good one to practice. Middle of the sword and then in. 
Still bring the sire back so that the tip can fit in. All right, uh, the kata I'm gonna do right now, it will be uh, uh, the uh, Shiho Giri Kata from the Seite system. And this one you need a little bit of room for. I don't know if you can do it in your house, <laughs> but uh, definitely in the backyard you could do it. And remember, this is against four opponents. It's from the Seite system. Number 10, Shiho Giri. If you already learned that, of course, you can continue to practice it, but let's talk about a few points so you can uh, sharpen it up. When you start the kata, your right foot steps forward and your hands come up to the sole. Left foot forward, no extra movement with the arm, but just your left foot's here. Now you're starting to glance slightly to your right side and you bring the sword down as you step up, and then hitting down. So it comes out of your out of your hakama a bit and it comes in front to hit down on your that opponent's hands as they're trying to draw the sword. Now break it open and push forward. You're pushing that opponent away and drawing the sword at the same time. As you clear, you place it on your chest, just like Sukate. Now slide it to the back with a thrust. Bring your sia forward and get your forearm and uh, being supporting the handle of the sword. Now, coming to that 45 degree angle, you raise up to Jodan and you step through with your left foot, Kirush. Now, raising the sword up to Jodan, we look to the back corner and we step in with the right foot. Also, Kirush cut. Now here's the pivot. Step across, bring your sword in and up, step through, Kirosh again. Step back for a big Jodan position. You have your left foot forward, and step back again for the Jibori right foot forward. Get your sire ready. A nice smooth noto, and then step back up. Turn to the front, hands off the sword, and you're done. All right, I'm gonna do it facing back now, so if you uh, uh, put the video in front of you, you can follow along and do the steps with me. So, uh, as if you're the student in class and I'm leading, let's do it this way. Good, hope you did well with that. And of course you can rewind it and, and practice it again, um, especially as the weather gets nice, you can go outside. Um, now I've got a special challenge for you uh, with your bokeh or your, your toe, your metal sword. Uh, I want you to uh, really keep strengthening those shoulders, those arms and wrists and forearms by doing your, your cuts. So I'm gonna give you a challenge, 500 cuts in one training session. You're gonna use your, let's say your Boken, and practice your cuts. You don't have to do them all full power, but just keep counting, adding them up. You can do it stepping, or you can do it in place. Maybe do sets of 50 of a few different types. Uh, besides a straight Kira Roche, you can do your Kesa cuts 
and maybe alternate sides, working on that Kesa, Kesa Giri movement. You can do your uh, shorter cuts, the face cut, face cut, face cut. Good. Or as we go part, center of the body, or Kesa forward as well. 500. Now it sounds like a big number, but I'll tell you, once you get going with it, it doesn't take all that long. But your arms will be burning a little bit, you'll feel it in the shoulders, and that'll keep things, uh, keep your muscles in shape for when we get back to our class in the future. Also, remember if you're in a smaller confined space, if you can't get outside, do the same motion with a short stick. You could use a broomstick or even something smaller like this. Just do the same movement. Have the same feeling as if you have the sword. It doesn't have to be the sword. The attitude, oh, that's a little harder there with Noto. It's short. But the attitude should be the same, and the spirit behind the practice should be the same no matter what you're using um, in your hand. I remember when I was uh, originally learning Iaido, my teacher was in Auburn, New York. Uh, it was about a 40 minute drive to get there and uh, we did an hour and a half class and then about a 40 minute drive back home. And I remember coming back home trying to remember all the moves. I'm driving home, have one hand on the steering wheel and the other hand is doing the sword movement so that I didn't forget uh, until I got home and then I could practice with my sword again. So a stick or anything in your hand can be helpful with that too. So it's great to see you. I, I hope you're uh, doing well. I miss you at the dojo and uh, do some Iado practice. Practice on your own. Hopefully we get some nice weather here soon as well. So let's get ready to finish. With your sword. Down. Good. Thanks for being uh, my sword students. I miss you guys a lot and uh, can't wait to see you again. Take care now.